Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to our home cliffside of operations, because we really can't call this a base, it is anything but, and I really need to do better at stuff like that. But that's not the point of this series. This series is for us to get all of our advancements in a row, and uh, as you can see from my hotbar, we were able to collect a fair amount of slime from that swamp that we found at the end of last episode, which means that we are now able to hopefully complete uh, this objective that I was trying to do a while back. And unfortunately, that did not uh, place where I needed it to. There we are. That's where I need it to be. So let's go ahead and place a hay bale on the side of this. And then we're going to come all the way up here to the top. We're going to switch over some more dirt so we can get on top of this. Actually going to go up two spots because otherwise I'm going to start uh, picking these arrows back up. And we are just going to stagger these arrows throughout the very center of this hay bale. Now, I tried doing this a, about a month ago, but it is significantly easier when you have a sticky piston to pull the item out of the way in the correct time frame. Uh, yeah, we should be good with about 46 or 48 of those. So let's rush all the way down here. And if we stand back this way and press this button, we have the bullseye achievement. Excellent work there. We can then retain those arrows because it'll be good to have them. And we'll go about taking down this little contraption because it's no longer required. <laughs> and boy, does it feel good to have that achievement out of the way. Now, I was just as shocked as you are that uh, that works, or as you may be, that that is actually a functioning uh, feature of the uh, sticky piston and of that bullseye achievement, because I never would have guessed that pushing a button would constitute uh, making a shot over that distance. But I think the way that it works is when you have a set of um, when you have a set of arrows that are still out they have entity assignments if you will so it recognizes that i am the owner of the projectile even though uh, i'm not standing with it at that point in time so that's just kind of an interesting tidbit there for sure but that's one of the more tedious advancements out of the way for sure. And another one that I'd like to go ahead and do is going to require us having a pumpkin here. And we're going to go ahead and set this guy down. And then grab our shears and pop. I know I have shears. Where did they go? There they are. Pop the front out of it. Then we'll need to pick that back up after we put these uh, pumpkin seeds away. And we'll also need to make a couple of iron blocks because I do actually have enough iron to do that. But we're going to do that right after we sleep the night away real quick. And we're going to go ahead and knock out another achievement. Now, is it in my best interest to have a, an iron golem just walking around here? I mean, as long as I don't hit it, I think that it could be okay. And why are you not summoning in? Does this count as not a full block, and therefore I need to prevent you from kind of clean you up so you can spawn in? Let's try this one more time. Okay, don't know why he didn't want to spawn in around other 
snow. But uh, now we've got ourselves an iron golem that can help us with some of the stickier situations that crop up here at night. Now, there's a few other advancements that we need to try and get, and let's go ahead and pull open the advancement table because we actually have a fair amount of these advancements taken care of. We're only missing a few out of the advancements or out of the adventure section, I should say. We're missing two with a spyglass. We're missing the trident advancements. We're missing the monsters hunted. Uh, advancements, the post-mortal advancement, which that's going to take a while for us to get to the point where we can do, the star trader, two birds with one arrow, surge protector, adventuring time, which I've actually done fairly well on, even just kind of haphazardly wandering around. There's seven biomes left for me to discover, and I know for a fact that one is a desert and one is a badlands uh, biome. I don't know what the other ones are. We need to get our hands on a music disc so we can play some music in a meadows biome. We also haven't done anything hardly at all in the nether area. Uh, I mean, we've gone to the nether and we have uh, collected a potion off of a brewing stand for the zombie doctor advancement. But apart from that, we haven't done anything. In the husbandry section, we still have to breed a fair amount of animals. We also need to finish taming the rest of the cats that are needed. We need to get into a fight, allowing an axolotl to help us out. And then uh, complete the balanced diet and serious dedication. And then finally, we need to do eyes spy in the end to finish out the Minecraft advancements and then open up the end advancements as well. So what I think I'm going to do against my better judgment, is I'm going to hop over here to the nether and see if we can't knock out maybe one or two advancements depending on what we end up finding. Now, ideally, I'd love it if there was a gas hanging out right here so we could get the is it a balloon advancement. But I don't think that they like to spawn in these biomes in particular. I think that they... Pref Actually, I do think that they like the basalt delta biomes. Uh, but they definitely prefer or spawn in higher uh, rarities in the Soul Sand Valley uh, biome. So we're going to need to see if we can make our way out of some of these problem spots. I can hear that gas floating around out there somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where it is or where it would be. So... We'll, we'll get to that advancement eventually, I'm sure. But right here, really close to where we're at, is a Bastion Remnant. There's a Ghast. And there is the, uh, is it a Balloon advancement? And maybe if we catch the Ghast's attention, we can get the Return to Sender advancement as well. I don't know if I have the not today thank you one if I'm thinking about it. Um, is that here? I do have not today thank you. So we don't need to worry about that necessarily. Come on, notice me. There it is. It turned around. And so if I come this way, there's the, those were the days advancement there. Okay. We've got uh, these. Okay, we just about got him, I think. I don't know if we... Okay, that was close. We're getting there. Except for now I need to cower and heal up a bit.
Come on, dude. That was way too far over to the left there. We're getting closer, I feel. And I feel like he just despawned, so we don't get a chance to do that. Um, but we need to see if we can loot a, the anything in this remnant while we're here. Let's try again. Now that there's a... Oh, or that was the one that we had initially. So, unfortunate we didn't get anything there. But, it's not the end of the world. I need to craft some gold here. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny that that works that way. Um, I don't know what he's going to throw out. It looks like it was leather, so I don't need that in particular. But, I'll switch some gold booties on. So he doesn't get as angry with me as he would otherwise. And then I hope that there's not a brute down here. Though I feel like there probably is. So let's go ahead and carefully extract our way down. Okay, there is a brute literally right there. And that there's no real way for me to get down to where that chest is at. Okay. Can I hit you from here? I can't. Which is... I can hit you from here, though. Oh boy, these guys have... So much help. Okay, that's one of them down. Okay. I think that was all the brutes that are right here. He didn't see me kill them. So I'm safe there. Though there is another brute just around the corner. Okay, that's terrifying to have him charging at me like that. Okay. I just don't want this guy over here seeing me as I break into these chests. And I hope that that brute fell all the way downstairs, because I really don't want a surprise later on. Okay. That should be everything for now. And... nice. Take some more arrows. And where did you come from? And also, why aren't you irate with me for opening that? I figured that you would have flown into a very upset little rage there. Okay, they're all... Oh, I can't have you here. Okay, if I give you that, okay, that'll work. Soul speed boots there, and unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of other great items in here. There is... Uh, what do I want to leave? I was really hoping for uh, either pig step or something. 
a little bit better than that. But what to... I mean, this is close enough to the point where I can come back and grab things. Ooh, here's something, though. Let's get rid of this boat, and then let's pick up some of the crying obsidian. That's a little bit shy of what I need in order to get uh, the respawn anchor. But I actually feel like that's a fair amount of advancements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven advancements today. Yeah, that's a that's a fair number of advancements. So honestly, I'm kind of content with that. And uh, we'll just kind of mosey on out of here, if you know what I mean. Well, that is really everything that I had hoped to get done today and uh, quite a bit more. So I'll, I'll definitely take the advancements that we uh, were able to complete today and we'll be making a lot more progress with that, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, even this nether list is starting to get filled out a uh, fair amount there. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for the daily variety content. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.